Y'all welcome back to my channel here, bro, Nate Reacts. Today we're gonna be reacting to tattoos that can get you into serious trouble. I mean, I got a tattoo, like, I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Because I can't see, see myself on the camera when I'm recording on OBS. Anyway, I got one, like a dagger. It's kinda cool, you know? It's cool. Anyway, teardrops. People with teardrop tattoos, specifically those placed under the eye, are perceived to have either attempted or succeeded at murdering another person. Other times, this tattoo is also common for people who have loved ones in prison or have someone very dear in need. That's true. My uh, stepdad has a southern redneck tattoo right here. <laughs> but I'm a uh... I'm gonna get a lot of tattoos on all that. Here to them pass away. So, the next time you think of inking this on your face for decorative purposes, it'd be better to just use face paint. Buddha, or any religious figure for that matter, can be seen as an act of disrespect or even blasphemy for most religious groups, especially if you're not part of it. Take, for example, the Christian Bible. I mean, like, I guess you're not supposed to tattoo, like, people tattoo Jesus, like, cross on their body. I guess you're not supposed to tattoo crosses or anything referring to God, because I guess he don't like that blasphemy or something, you know? Which both looks down on the use and embellishment of religious imagery, as well as tampering with the human body, as it is believed to be God's temple. Of course, thousands of people still tattoo religious symbols, but better to exercise precaution. Spiderweb. Before you get one of these tattooed on any part of your body, maybe you'd like to know that for most criminals, having a spiderweb tattoo meant that you were imprisoned or struggling with a drug addiction. Wait a minute, someone at my school has it and he's a teacher. Yo, I swear he he has it right there on his elbow. Some of y'all might, might know who I'm talking about. I don't know his name. I don't know. No, I don't know. Sometimes both. The rings on the web are meant to symbolize each year that they've suffered from their incarceration or drug abuse. A five-pointed crown. For people living in the United States, getting a five-pointed crown tattoo on your body may mean that you're a part of the Latin Kings gang, one of the biggest gangs both inside and outside. I think Conor McGregor has that on his like neck area. But I don't think he's in a gang because he's a boxer. If he was in a gang, he, he would probably already be dead, you know? Them gang people, they don't play it though, bro. Like, look at all them people with them tattoos on his face. Holy crap. ...side of prison systems within the states. We don't need to tell you why having one of these tattoos might get you in trouble. But if you really want a crown tattoo, keep it to less or more than five tips, just to be safe. Three dots. Three dots arranged in a triangle means only one thing, and it's pretty universal. Mi vida loca, or simply, my crazy life. Right, I'm three dots. Oh, by the eye. What if you get it on your wrist or something? Like, it's not... How, how bad could it be, you know? This isn't an allusion to mental illness, though. It means that the bearer of this tattoo has at one point in their life been involved in something illegal. We'll let you decide whether you want to take this one seriously or not. Dagger Pierced Rose While this tattoo may have been at home in the 80s or any time before that, more recently it symbolizes juvenile delinquency. This tattoo is presumably given within prison walls only to children who have reached a legal age. I mean, I got some anger problems, you know, but I've never been in juvenile, you know? Like, I've never been that bad. Wait, is that what that dagger means? No, bro. ...before they were released. Bearers of this tattoo are respected as survivors of a harsh prison life at a young age. To be honest, this tattoo does kind of give that I've been to prison vibes. Or is it just me? Thieves star. This kind of star looks like the ones you'd see on old maps that signify the cardinal directions. And they're the kind of stars that Russian prisoners use to dictate their status within prison walls. What? I never, I never knew that. I mean, I never heard of that tattoo before. You know, like, that's one I don't, you don't usually see all the time. I guess they're hidden. 
where it's placed on their body is how respected they are. A star on the knee commands respect as it says they would not bow down for anyone. On the chest it marks a higher rank and only reserved for a select few. I think if you're Russian, it's safer to just choose other types of stars. Oxel. Roughly translated to big grin. This is a tattoo. My big grin. <laughs> big grin? What what's a big grin tattoo? Like what is that? I never heard of it. Two that shows a tiger, leopard, or wolf snarling. And is another Russian prisoner tattoo that carries heavy implications. People with this tattoo often wear it at an easily visible location, given that it means hostility towards authorities. I mean, most people get tattoos to look bad, you know, but tattoos don't make you bad. I mean, what here is basically describing these people got tattoos because they were bad, you know, and they want to show their badass or whatever. Only the most hardened of criminals could walk proudly while expressing their disdain for the police. So, we invite you to think twice before deciding to get one of these admittedly cool looking tattoos. Crawling Spider. For those who share enthusiasm for these eight-legged insects, you may have heard or known that spider tattoos can be considered a mark of thievery. Often placed on the shoulder, if the spider is crawling upward or towards the head, it symbolizes an active thief. Otherwise, it means the person has walked away from a life of crime. This coincides for anime lovers out there who've watched Hunter x Hunter. I'm honest, I don't really watch anime, but I never heard of that tattoo or you put on your shoulder and I guess it means you, what, killed someone? What? I'm not sure what it said. Remember the symbol of the Phantom Troupe? Yep, I don't think that was a coincidence. Cathedrals. Known as Kremlins in Russia, yes, this is yet another innocent looking tattoo that symbolizes a special meaning for Russian inmates. Kremlins are the churches you see mostly in the country. Never knew that. Kremlins are churches. Huh. That's another tattoo you don't normally see. A Kremlin. What? With their multiple iconic domes sitting on top of towers around the building. Inmates with this tattoo show off the sentences they've served in their lifetime according to the number of domes in their Kremlin. Unlike the tattoos that came before it, these tattoos can be found anywhere on the body. Manacles or handcuffs. They're often paired with Kremlins as these show that the person is serving a sentence of more than five years. What? More than five years? Oh my gosh. Imagine just staying in prison for a day. I don't think I will survive, bro. I might die. The manacles themselves have varying designs according to the preference of the inmate. But if they get these tattoos, the Kremlins must be put on their hands. Whether this is to command additional respect or simply out of tradition is something only bearers of this mark can know. Another variation of this would be ring tattoos around each finger. They are usually used to imply the same thing, save never knew that most times you've been in prison dang holy crap that long for the fact that they can be customized to show exactly what sentence the bearer of the tattoo is charged with clowns typically indicative of the fun-loving character clowns have been around as long as there have been children to scare at birthday parties if you however are thinking of getting a tattoo of these entertainers how is a clown a bad tattoo unless you put it, you know, as that famous serial killer that dressed up as a clown, I forgot his name. I'm not really into that psychopath stuff. But anyway, some people are. Then be mindful of where you travel to, since in Brazil, they are taken as extremely offensive, especially to law enforcement, as this kind of tattoo symbolizes someone who has killed an officer of the law before and is proud of it. Cross on the chest. Talking about real life Pennywise, holy shit bro, he's real. Pennywise is real, they're out there bro, they're out there to kill you. Chest. You may have thought that this was it for Russian inmate tattoos, but there's more. Only donned by the most dangerous criminal both in and out of prison, 
A cross on the chest is more of a status symbol than anything, since it shows the person is not only the most respected among his criminal peers, but also the bearer of this symbol is often the one. I never knew that tattoo means you've been in prison. Most of these tattoos mean and you've been in prison or did a serious crime or whatever, you know. Like, with the most heinous crimes in their record. You wouldn't want to be caught wearing this tattoo by any Russian criminal, as that may be the last time anybody sees it. Barbed wire. As if it didn't look dangerous enough, barbed wire actually signifies someone who has been convicted and is understood by criminals everywhere. Acting is like the equivalent of the Russian crime. Wait, don't post a Malone had that tattoo over his head? Or am I looking at his face wrong? I'm not sure. Gremlins. Each knot on the barbed wire means a year of prison time. These tattoos can be found anywhere on the body, but are most often displayed in easily visible areas of the body for intimidation. Skull with wings. What could be cooler than a skull tattoo? A skull tattoo with wings. No, I'm not trying to be rude about these tattoos or anything, but a skull looks dumb. A skull tattoo is dumb, bro. On your chest? What? It looks amazing and isn't as overused as a flame or flower tattoos, but you might want to think twice before getting this one, especially if you don't have a motorcycle, since the skull with wings is the official insignia of the Hells Angels. Considered one of the big four motorcycle gangs who carry out widespread illegal activities, though they maintain they are simply a motorcycle enthusiast group. If you aren't beaten up or worse by the members of this club for now that see they make the uh skulls look so cool like X X V I V I I I X one one what is that how does that mean how much year did it, have they been in prison wearing their insignia they actually have another special move legal action yes it's ironic and yes they've done it before. Just ask Toys R Us and MTV, political or war-related imagery. These are along the lines of getting a swastika or the face of Bin Laden tattooed anywhere on your body. Is that an Indian guy? Or what, or what are that dots on his head? It, it's actually someone's pimple. <laughs> like, there were some funny tattoos where people get it, like, the man got the NBA player and as his mole, he got the basketball as his mole. It's funny. And we feel that it's self-explanatory why you should never get any of these tattoos. They're all either offensive to the victims of war, political parties, or just people in general. These, in combination with any of the ones listed above, may still... Like it, if you get a president tattoo, like, if they're white or black, it won't look exactly like them because it'll look faded. Won't look, you would have to use a bunch of paint, like a bunch of dye, tattoo ink, I mean, on your skin to make it look very good, hours and hours. It look appealing to a small portion of the audience watching. In fact, some may have clicked on the video just to see what tattoo they want to get. But we're telling you now, unless you're a criminal, the image that these marks convey outweigh any aesthetic appeal they may have. Interesting because I got one. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting another one soon. Oh my god, I said I gotta wait until I'm 18 to get another one. But I guess I'll wait. Do you know other tattoos that may spell trouble? Feel free to leave your comments down. Anyway, that was the video, I guess. Anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Like and comment. You know, and view, I guess. Yeah.